Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you can look at all of the different uh, patterns that I have available and maybe get one to knit one up for yourself. Also in the description below, you will find a link to the Watch Barbara Knits Facebook group. We'd love to have you come over and join. It's a closed group, but I will approve your request. And it is a place for us to continue the conversations that we are having here on YouTube. I'd love to chat with you in the comments below, of course, but Facebook allows us to share pictures and everybody likes looking at pictures of yarn and knitting. Today, speaking of that Facebook group, um, based on a conversation we started in my vlog at the beginning of December, I found and feedback from that Facebook group that you guys would like to talk about color and choosing colors for your knitting. And I am more than happy to do that. Um, I decided today there in a moment we'll have a screen share where I'm going to show you some online tools that will help you in understanding and maybe picking colors for your knitting. Um, one thing that I'd like to mention right off the top is most of what we're going to be talking about is pairing up multiple colors, but a few quick things on just picking out a color for your knitting. Um, the darker the color, the less detail of your knitting you're going to see. So if you're getting into super dark colors and you have like intricate texture work, all of that stuff's gonna disappear. So when you're picking out single colors, A, pick out a color that you're gonna wear, something you're gonna like. Make sure that if you're in a yarn store, check out their lighting sources. You might need to ask them if you can take it to a window or even step just outside so you can see it in natural light because color looks very different under fluorescent lights versus incandescent lights versus actual sunlight. So that is something you need to be aware of. But again, the higher the complexity level of the intricacy of stitches, the lighter yarn is probably going to give you a happier result. If you want to use a dark yarn, look for patterns that have bold motifs like big cables and things that are going to pop more. So that's fun. Um, and what I'm going through in the coming video is things that are more practical ways to pick out colors for whatever you're working on. So here we're going to go to screen share. First you have, I have found several different things here on the um, internet that I think will be very helpful for you if you're struggling with color. And I will put all the links to these websites in the description below. The first one is this, and now I'm gonna quit looking at you here in the camera and I'm gonna look at my screen. This, I found, this is a online color calculator that's based on color wheels and color theories. Now you can spend a lot of time reading about color theory and you can go with different type, the way that different colors interact, what's a complementary color, there's secondary colors and triads and blah, blah, blah. If you are into that kind of stuff, I highly recommend you research it, look it up online. It would be a whole different class. And frankly, I don't know that I have a hundred percent grasp on it. I just know what I like and what looks good together. And that is really what you're looking to do when you are doing knitting is picking out yarns that you like. Now, down here, what you can see is we've got the color calculator and the way it works is you click in this window, right? and you pick out whatever your base color is you want to start with. So we'll come over here and let's say, and we're gonna move this little dot guy, see? And we can move it around and let's find, there's a nice kind of rosy color, right? And then you can take this little slider here and slide it up and down and make it lighter and darker, okay? 
And then over here, it's asking you to help choose. So here is a complementary color, which is going to be across the color wheel. This is monochromatic. And what monochromatic means is that you're staying within the same hue family, which in this case would be a pinky color, but changing tonally and slightly changing the hue, but staying within that same family. And I'll, and I'll, I can't say that word. A analogous? Analogous. Um, not real sure what that means, but I could look it up. And split complementary, which as you can see, it's triangle. So complementary is when you're essentially going directly across the w color wheel. Split complementary, you start at one point and then you're going like this. So they're slightly off. And the triad is, com again, we're getting into color theory and Tetradic means there's four different colors. So let's click on these. So this is the color we started with. So to find out our complementary color, there you go. Isn't that lovely? So that is pretty much, as you can see, directly across the color wheel, and that's your complementary color. Now, monochromatic, you're staying in the same color family, but just going darker. Let's turn that one. I don't know if I can make that. There we go, back to complementary. Now we're going to go to analogous. So those are three that are just on either side. So you're staying, it's a step different from uh, monochromatic because you're going with slightly different colors, but it's cool. And then split complementary there. So again, instead of going, oh, I need to use my pointer, silly. Instead of going straight across to your complementary color, see how it's split. And so you're getting three colors that would work beautifully together triadic it spreads even further across and you're going to get more hue contrast and then here are four colors that go nicely with each other now you can grab each one of these and move it around isn't that cool and find different colors so this is a fun toy to play with. I will put a link to it, but if you want to mess around with color wheel and color theory, this is a great resource. Now, the next one I want to show you is here. This is a website called Design Seeds, and this is a wonderful site for inspiration where what they've done is they have taken a photograph and then pulled out different color palettes from that photograph. And you can look up here. They have all kinds of fun stuff and you can go by collection. There's different things, but I like using the color one. So you go by color. Now, if you know, um, like the general idea, you know, you want to make a purple sweater or something like that, then you can go in here and we're going to click on that, right? Do, 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 why is it being so? There we go. And then what it is, is you can see the image and see how they've pulled out colors from this image that gives you a color palette. Now, this is wonderful for knitting. Also, if you are painting your house or decorating or whatever, but we started with that kind of pale purple. And so what this is doing is it's giving us all of these different, see, look at this and that beautiful. We're all in the same tonal range. Um, sometimes what the picture color we picked is the lightest one. Sometimes it's in the middle. Sometimes it's the darkest color. And you can see, oh, look at that one. So you've got the purple we picked and then these um, colors that go really well with it. That is gorgeous. So this is also a very, very cool tool that you can use. And if we go back, we can go in and pick another color. Let's go for a dark color, right? I'm going to do a little dance while it's loading. <laughs> um. Now we picked the dark green and here there are colors. And so all these colors go really well. So what you could do is you can like save the image. You can send it to yourself. You can pin it on Pinterest, which we're going to show you in just a minute. You can share it to yourself on Facebook or you can do whatever. You can mark it in some way. You can tweet it to yourself, but, um, or you can just copy it to yourself. So if I actually click on that, it is going to go to just that individual post and then you can copy this URL from up here 
and then open up and email it to yourself so you know where it is or paste it into, you might have a Word file so that you can find it again. And if you email it to yourself, then you can pull it up on email when you're in the yarn store and look on it at your phone. Just pull it up on your phone if you have a smartphone and then you will have that color in your pocket and have an idea of what you're looking for and you can take it in and use that on your phone. Make sure you have it set fairly bright so that it's showing you true color and use that on your phone to compare it to yarns and that will help you pick out what you might want to do. See, this is almost a pink and I think this would be really cool if it was a little bit pinker with a green. I love picking out colors to go together and I said I was going to show you Pinterest and this does have the opposite option to pin it and then you can go to Pinterest and pin whichever one you want. And I'm going to show you that is where I like organizing color combos for color work. And what we have here, oh, I'm leaning down for a second. <laughs> what we have here are these are all inspirational images that I have found on Pinterest or just on the internet someplace and I pin it to it and I created this board for myself to, to keep things that I thought, and the thing is, is it's, do I necessarily know why these colors work? No. All I know is that I saw these colors and they appealed to me and I wanted to remember them in case I want to use them for a future color combination. Like, look at this one. It's a picture of a dress. It's fashion, but the idea of combining like an army green or an olivey green with this bright, bright yellow, I think is absolutely beautiful. And then you can just keep on going down like the, um, oh, woo, look at that. Look at this pink and the turquoise. Amazing. Um, these dark colors. It's just, it's a feast for the eyes, but it also helps me come up like this one. It's a picture of food, right? What does that have to do with knitting? Well, this dark, dark chocolate color here with this blue would make absolutely stunning color work. They're two colors that go really well together. If you're working on one of those shawls that require three colors, the chocolate, that blue, and the white are just stunning together and it would make a beautiful, beautiful piece. So that is why. Now, another thing I want to show you about Pinterest is that if you like this and you're looking for more colors, then if you scroll down, they'll give you other suggestions of things that are in that similar range. Now, I'm obviously looking at food photos here because what they're picking out of it is food, but you can also find other amazing color inspirations in these. Like, look, look, here's even some knitting. So again, this chocolate in turquoise is a great color combination. Um, like, oh, oh, where'd the feet go? I love this one. Fashion. Photography is a great place. Look at these. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, look at this. This lime green, or I don't know if it's quite in lime. It's, it's an interesting color than the way that I would have never paired this with this kind of red, but it's just, um, lime with the blue back, see, I, and the lime with the blue. These two colors are great together. So Pinterest can be very, very useful. And now I don't spend a whole lot of time on Pinterest, but I use it to store information and inspiration. So again, if you have your smartphone and you're in your yarn store, you can look at this on your smartphone and pull up some inspiration. And actually, here's something really fun. So this, see this painting right here? That painting, let's pull up Ravelry. So we go to my designs and if I scroll down, let me find Earthbound Misfit. Here we go. And this, this version of Earthbound Misfit, that was the color inspiration for it. Isn't that cool? It's this beautiful pops of turquoise with the reds and the yellows ended up being this color combination. So that shows a real world way that you can pull color 
out of an image and make it into knitting. Since we are here in Ravelry, let's look at actual yarn. Okay, here Ravelry is a fantastic tool for you to use if you're trying to figure out. Let's say you know what yarn you want to use. Let's go with Brigo um, Worsted. No, Rios. I like Rios. Okay, now you see I'm under the yarn tab. Look at me pointing over here <laughs> on the yarn tab and you search for the yarn. And here we go is Malabrigo Rios. Okay, now. The way that this works is you can see different stashes, but this button right here, projects. So you can click on projects and that gives you tons and tons of projects. But if you go here and click on this button that says advanced search, it will bring up a search of projects. Now let's say it has to have a photo and we're going to use two colors. Now we are only looking at projects that use, you know what, let's go crazy. Let's say three colors too. Colors that use multiple colors. So then you know you're using this particular yarn and you can scroll through and see what other people, what other knitters actually put together. Like, look at that. That is lovely. And so they used um, chameleon and apple green. So that is a variegated yarn with a green yarn. So that is super cool. And you can continue through here and use this as a tool to pick out like this, this green and orange look great together. And you can click into it and see what colors this other individual use to create their multicolor piece. Look at that. That's another variegated with a white. Um, look, pink and black, and you can get an idea of what those colors look like in the actual execution and actual knitting. So, so there you have some ways to think about color and a few online tools that can help you visualize. Again, as I mentioned, making use of copying and pasting URLs and emailing them to yourself or um, can or like texting them to yourself can help when you're actually in the yarn store you can you know have your phone and pull up some of the images looking at images of things like on pinterest that aren't necessarily knitting related but pulling color you know nature puts together colors that i would never think of putting together but they work fabulously. Um, I anticipate this is only the first of multiple discussions on color. I would love to hear feedback in the uh, comments below or on Facebook how this one worked for you, if it answered some of your questions, if it created even more questions, and what else you might want to know about color. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button, and if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much. I think it's even up, made it onto the second page. Here it is. So bitter blue. Nope, nope, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong spot. 